Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about why large hedge funds like Citadel Securities purposefully commit fraud or commit illegal crimes or break SEC rules and how in some twisted way it's actually beneficial for them to commit these frauds or break these rules and receive those fines. But guys, before we get into the video, please be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way you won't miss another video just like this one. So let's start by talking about this article right here. Headed Citadel Securities pays $22 million for misleading clients about pricing trades to settle charges that its business unit, which handles retail customer orders from other brokerage firms, made misleading statements to them about the way it priced its trades. The SEC order finds that Citadel Execution Services suggested to its broker-dealer clients that upon receiving retail orders they forwarded from their own customers, it either took the other side of the trade and provided the best price it observed on various markets or just routed it directly into the market itself. They've got a graph here which explains just that. The investor places the trade with the broker, the broker then sends it to an internalizer, being Citadel, and the algorithm decides whether Citadel are going to take the other side of the trade or just route it directly into the marketplace. Maybe Citadel have another customer, another broker that already has a customer on the other side of that trade so they can just link the two together. But the SEC's order finds that two algorithms used by Citadel Securities did not internalize retail orders at the best price observed nor did it even seek to obtain the best price in the marketplace. Maybe Citadel themselves purposefully took the other side of that trade and made a profit. Let's say you or I wanted to buy AMC stock at $54.10. Maybe Citadel intentionally sold it to us for $54.11, therefore making a one cent profit. Now one cent doesn't really seem like that much, but let's break it down a little bit further. So obviously a quick search, we all know that Robinhood routes more than half of its customer order trades to Citadel. Now half of Robinhood's trades is going to be a lot of money. Showing this next tab here, we can see that in 2020, Robinhood totally transacted around $350 billion worth of trades. That is actually an estimate because the Robinhood CEO said that transaction volume doubled in 2020, but Robinhood don't actually disclose this data anymore. So obviously 150 billion doubled is 300 billion, but I guess they've just estimated it's slightly larger at around $350 billion of trade volume handled each year. So if we head on over to the whiteboard, $350 billion in annual trade volume divided by two, because obviously Citadel only wrote one half of the orders, is $175 billion. If we multiply that by 1%, or the one cent profit that Citadel could potentially be making on these trades is $1.75 billion per year in profits that Citadel could be making. If we divide that by 365 days, that's $4.79 million in profit that Citadel could be making by incorrectly routing these orders. Take the $22 million fine that Citadel received, divided by 4.79 million, is 4.5 days of ill-gotten gains that Citadel have paid as a fine for committing illegal activity. Four days worth of money that they made. Now, if we head back to this article for a second, the SEC's order finds that Citadel Securities, which has since discontinued the two algorithms, very conveniently, without admitting or denying the findings, Citadel Securities agreed to be censured and pay $5.2 million in disgorgement of ill-gotten gains, plus interest of more than $1.4 million and a penalty of $16 million. So therefore, Citadel Securities themselves have basically admitted to be receiving those ill-gotten gains or ill-gotten profits, but apparently only $5 million worth, which is obviously a world apart from the calculation that I've done of $1.75 billion. But the interesting thing is that I've only based this calculation on a one cent slippage. What if Citadel had more than a one cent slippage? What if you or I were buying AMC stock at $54.10 and Citadel filled it at $54.15? That would be five cents on every trade or 5% of the $350 billion that Robinhood took in annual volume. However, maybe we should also consider it in terms of number of transactions rather than value of transactions that Robinhood process each year. So I managed to find that the average transaction size for Robinhood in 2020 was around $250. So if we go back over to the whiteboard, $350 billion worth of transactions 
with a 250 average transaction size, is 1.4 billion transactions the Robinhood process each year. 1% of that, or 1 cent profit for Citadel, is $14 million. Although I guess they only route half of those transactions, so it's $7 million profit. Again, that's only at a 1 cent slippage, not at a 5 cent slippage, which would be $70 million profit, or for Citadel, $35 million profit for them per year in ill-gotten gains. So we can see that for Citadel, committing fraud or unethically routing customer transactions isn't really too much of a problem for them. If it's only going to cost them a year's or two years or even half a year's of ill-gotten profits in terms of fines, why wouldn't they continue doing it if the only thing they get for it is a slap on the wrist and a small fine? I also really wanted to talk about this article that I found as well. Citadel Securities pays a $97 million settlement in China trading. By the way, $97 million is around 670 million renminbis. The article says that the market's regulator suspended a trading account operated in Shanghai by Citadel Securities in August of that year. The regulator then launched an investigation into malicious short selling effectively committed by Citadel. The regulator at that time expressed concerns over spoofing, which we know still happens today. Maybe not necessarily by Citadel, but it definitely still happens. Spoofing is an act in which investors place a buy or a sell order but withdraw it before the transaction is done in order to manipulate prices. This eventually sliced off more than 24 trillion renminbis from China's total market capitalization. If we use that same ratio from earlier, 670 million renminbis to 97 million dollars, that's around 3 trillion US dollars that fell from China's total market capitalization as a result of malicious short selling and spoofing committed by Citadel and maybe some other funds. So this is absolutely crazy that Citadel and some other funds can cause more than $3 trillion in damage and make significant, significant profits each and every year and only have to pay a small $22 million fine or a small $97 million settlement. Guys, if you want to pick up some shares in AMC and fight back against the hedge funds, be sure to sign up using the links down in the description below. You can currently get two free shares with Webull at the moment worth up to $1,850 if you're in the US, or a free share with free trade worth up to £200 if you're in the UK or in Europe. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers!